Hi guys, good morning. Uh, I wanted to show you real quick. I'm not there in case you forgot. Real quick, how to make a quick Haitian style, the bakery style patties. This is not pate cordy. Pate cordy is made with the flour, just knead it, and I'll show you guys a video for that later. But this is the bakery style patties that we love every communion, every wedding that we look forward to. And it's really a quick way. If you can't make it, it's really making the pipe, uh, the, uh, the, the pat it takes a long, long, long time to make. You can find this in the grocery store. It's the Pepperidge Farm Puff Pastry Sheets. This comes with two sheets, and I'm going to show you later how we're just going to use that. It's already done, and we're just going to stuff our patty. So first, we're going to do our filling. We're making a beef patty today, and you already know how to make my piece. I'll put the link up. So that's our marinade mixture. So Right here we have about a pound of beef, okay, and we mix that. And remember, the way I make it, I don't really add any salt, it's just my onions, peppers, scallions, all of that mixed up. So we have about two nice big tablespoons, we mix that. And here, I have some other uh, items. I have cut up diced green peppers, onions, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, black pepper, and a little... Um, pepper flakes okay and this is really the quick version of course feel free to you uh, there's already garlic fresh garlic in the seasoning but I also love the flavor of garlic powder and onion powder so I always throw it in there and whatever else you add in here is really a matter of taste preference mix it all up because not, we don't always have time to really go fresh and really do all the stuff as much as we want to we can't lie to ourselves we have our pot here already heating up so put the fire nice and medium high and now that your beef is mixed just add it in i don't add any oil because most ground beef already has a certain amount of oil in it so we're just gonna screw this down and one more thing what we're going to do is grab our lime. So we're going to add a, grab a fresh lime, cut that in half, and then we're going to squeeze that in there. I rolled it because lime is really not the best right now. So they're very expensive at the supermarket and they also don't have a lot of juice so I roll it and you really want to get about a tablespoon and you raise your fire up but as you know once you add the meat to the pot it cools it down so we're going to let that stew down and it's ground beef so about 10 minutes it should be ready so this mm, yeah, that's not, go ahead, go. So this is our cooked meat, and we're going to let that cool that off. Make sure there's no liquid. If there's any liquid, that means your fire was too low, in which case make sure you drain it so you can stuff the dough. So let's get to that. So our ground beef is cooked, so we're ready to make our easy Haitian pate. So we're going to do squares. Most of the time we tend to use uh, square ones. So I would cut... Remember, we're using the puff pastry sheet. It comes in, it's folded in three, so I would cut each section into two. So that way you're able to get a nice six out of it. Okay. It is so hot. So it's quickly made. So this is the size. And I would add our ground beef. Make sure your hands are clean. The one thing we know about Haitian patties is there's never enough meat. So when you're making them for yourself, this is your opportunity to spoil yourself. We're going to make them into a little thing. We're not going to crinkle them. I was about to, but then we're not. Because with Haitian patties, you don't usually see that crinkle at the end. If it's pate corde, yes. But the bakery style, so we're just going to pinch them together so they can think. Our oven is pre-eating at 400 degrees by the way 
so that way when we're done they're ready to go in you see and you can make them smaller so this is if you want to make appetizers out of them you can cut these in half and make smaller ones we're gonna stuff those suckers Just a pinch, because we don't really want that crinkle at the end. Just pinch it together. We're going to keep stuffing those. Pause. And we'll fold our final one. See, this one's nice and big. And we're going to, again, remember, no need for a fork. Just pinch. It's okay if it's even a little bit open. Okay, so we have our six patties. We're going to throw them in the oven, 400 degrees. Remember, the meat is cooked. We just want the puff pastry to be nice and golden. 25 minutes and just check. Back. Our patties, our quick Haitian patties. Look at this. Come closer, come closer. You still get the fete. Fete. <laughs> you see, this is what we die for, that flakiness. Your meat is in there. All that deliciousness, you see. And it actually has meat so try them send me your pictures send me your videos enjoy them and I'll have the recipe in the details bye till next time